In this tutorial series, I'm going to talk about Next.js 14 for those of you who has basic React.js experience. I recommend Next.js for its performance and simplicity. My website, ubiquitous.com, is made of Next.js as well. One of the major reasons why I use Next.js is the search engine optimization or SEO. If the website is not well discovered by the search engines, or if no one visits your website, why would you host your website while spending money for it? Therefore, SEO plays a critical role and Next.js framework is extremely convenient to manage SEO. I can talk about two of my top favorite features of Next.js, server-side rendering or SSR and easy metadata management. First, let's talk about SSR. SSR enhances the user experience by shortening the page loading time. Every web browser can render the user interface or UI only based on the HTML. Yet, with many modern websites uses JavaScript not only for functional buttons and so on, but also to render a HTML that will be rendered by the browser again. So this additional step will take some extra loading time. With React.js, your hosting server sends a bunch of JavaScript files to your user's web browser. Then the user's browser renders HTML using the JavaScript files. Finally, the user, the person, can see your website's UI. This process takes time and computational power from your users and their devices. If it takes too long, most likely your user will just turn around even before your page loads. No matter how your code is good or design is pretty, you have no user. Instead, why don't we let our server send the HTML directly to the user? This could lower down the turnaround rate. That's what Next.js does. Second, this is called Open Graph. Whenever you share a link of most of the modern websites, it shows the preview of your page. This information is defined in your page's metadata. Again, thanks to SSR, the web crawler can directly see the metadata to show a preview. Especially, the crawler runs separately without the browser. Oftentimes, it may ignore a bunch of JavaScript files. Therefore, without the meta tags, your website preview is impossible. Next.js framework handles metadata straightforward along with its SSR feature. So, I have no reason not to recommend Next.js for you. And I want to keep it simple and minimalistic for the audiences who already have some backgrounds in React.js. In this vanilla tutorial series of Next.js, I will mainly discuss the behaviors of Next.js instead of working on an example project. So, if you know React.js and a bit of Tailwind CSS, this will be a great minimalistic tutorial series to migrate from React.js to Next.js. Along with the series, I will cover the following topics that I think most important for Next.js 14.